Here's how to use Gboard on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you wanted a different keyboard, you can always download it and install the Gboard. I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into the App Store here and tap on the search button at the bottom right. We just need to search for the Gboard app here. So type in Gboard and hit search. And here it is right there. Just tap on it and download and install this specific app. Now it will download onto your home screen like this. Of course, you can do things on the app, but you also need to do things in the settings. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's open up the app here and just get started and get started. Now, the nice thing is it'll bring you over to the Gboard settings. And on here, we need to tap where it says keyboards. And from here, we need to toggle this on and toggle on allow full access and allow. This essentially will use this app to override or use basically the keyboard instead of the default Apple keyboard. Now, after we've done that, let's go back into the Gboard app here. And it says step to switch to the Gboard and tap on hold on the globe and then switch to that. Now we can hit skip here and I'll show you how that works. Let's open up, say, just a web browser here. And now what you'll see is at the very bottom left is a globe icon. So I can tap on that and it switches to the Gboard. It says search for various things in this little screen here. Here is where you can type. You can even basically do that glide typing. And you can see at the very top are letters, the QWERTY, but also the numbers one through nine and zero as well. And now on here, you can adjust and modify this. You can have a different theme by tapping on the settings icon here. Oh, let me go back, tap on that gear icon. That's not working for whatever reason, but you can do it also in the Gboard app go to keyboard settings. You might just need to restart everything, but you can see on here, auto correct, auto capitalization, emoji suggestions. You can clear the dictionary. You can have all sorts of different keyboard settings on here. That is a lot more useful than the normal de default built-in iPhone. And then we can also go back here and do themes. So a cool thing is that you can choose either a light theme or a dark theme. But you can also go through and choose these really cool, beautiful themes like these landscapes. So if I tap on this, I can go back in here and you'll be able to see it changes the background to be that specific image or color to have a really cool theme. Now, all you need to do is start typing. Hi, this is my new keyboard that butchered, I butchered that typing, but basically you can start typing as you normally would on any other keyboard. You can also tap on that little microphone icon and hit okay to allow microphone access. And then essentially you can start searching for things just by saying out loud what you wanna search for. And when you're ready, hit the little send button at the bottom right. And just like that, it will bring that over and start searching for that specific phrase or question or whatever you might have. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.